My mom told me, your father's in jail. It was like hearing on the news that someone had went to jail. I really didn't care. I never really felt anything special or a direct bond with him. He was like, I haven't talked to you in a while. And I was like, yeah, that's true. He said, hey, son, I want you to attend this camp called Camp Hope. You go to a camp for a week, and you could um, visit me every day. Things that are more My mom was like, you're going to camp. I was like, camp? I said, I'm too big for camp 14. She's like, your father really wants you to go, and it's a camp for you to go see your father. Yeah, I said, where do we camp at in the prison? Because I don't want to camp in no prison. She's like, no, you camp outside the prison, and then you go there during the days to go see him. And I started Hope House in 1998 to help um, families stay connected to their loved ones in prison. The idea is to help fathers and children build relationships and strengthen bonds. I assure you, we will take good care of your children. Love you. As I looked at programs that were available for fathers in prison, I found that there were none. Um, even though 93% of the people in prison are men, in sheer numbers there are more programs for mothers in prison than there are for fathers in prison. For the first day that I was there, we, we were walking through all these different doors, we were taking off our shoes. I felt like, like the time has come, like the moment's here. Describe it as at first nervous, but when you get in there and when you see him and give him a hug and you feel great, you feel relieved, and you, most of all, you feel happy. <laughs> it's an art based program. We do dancing, music, and each activity is geared to helping fathers and children get to know each other better. When he was first in prison, it was a glass, and you had to talk to him through a phone. And I hated that. Oh my goodness. Talking through a phone and being with someone, having a conversation is totally two different things. You can't hug nobody through a phone. No. To be honest with you, I was very reluctant at first in a maximum security prison to do something like this. And the administration as a group sit down and said, okay, let's, we'll give it a try. Let's give it a try. And it turned out great. I hadn't seen my son since he was about one years old when I was incarcerated. So when we met for the first time, he was 11 years old at the first camp. You know, since then, me and my son have, have, have built a bond that's going to last a lifetime. To participate in the program, fathers have to complete a parenting program and have clear conduct for a year prior to camp. The fathers were very closely screened and educated on the process, how they would be able to um, talk with their children. It's a tool also for us to manage the inmate. Those inmates who want to get out um, and have a chance to get out when they are able to talk to their kids they have an incentive to do well in prison. When I'm out, like down where I live, I'm just hoping he stays out of trouble so I can see him the next year. He works an entire year to be good in prison so he can actually see me for 25 hours in camp. Each year we ask the fathers and children to create a mural that is a perfect day with dad. What would they be doing if they were not here? When we were thinking of ideas for the mural, we thought, why don't we um, do a mural about basketball since that's what we love to do. When we went back to the cabins, that's the only thing the kids could talk about was their father and what they wanted to do, mural ideas, what they wanted to do with their father the next day. 
Every night we'd sit in a circle and talk about our day. And one night we talked about our fathers and how much time we, they were in for, and if they would ever get out. At his age is when I started going down the wrong path. At a very young age, using drugs and alcohol is what led me to prison. You don't ever want your children to repeat the mistakes that you've made. Our ultimate goal is to get back together in this lifetime, no matter how long it may take. You know, I'm incarcerated with life plus 40 years consecutive on first degree murder charge. So it's a very serious situation. And uh, you know, it's something that I wish had never happened. I want to thank the staff, you know, because y'all didn't have to uh, participate in this. Y'all didn't have to take any type of notice of us, you know, as being inmates, you know. It takes a lot of courage from y'all just to deal with us, and we really appreciate it. And for y'all kids, man, y'all keep your heads up, you know. Um, for all of us, our, us we, we really do love y'all. We really do care about y'all, and we want y'all to be the best that you can be and know that y'all can do better than we are, you know, and that we do really love y'all, so we thank everybody. Amen. The last day, they put on a song by Luther Vandross. People were like slow dancing, and we were just standing in front of each other talking. And I was sad that I was leaving because I felt like I wanted to hang out and get to know each other a little longer. I was hoping to become closer so when he got out of jail, we could keep this going and have a real father-son relationship. Before camp, I didn't think of him at all. But now that when I do start to think about him, I think good things. I think there's hope for him to come out and stay out forever and for us to really create something good.